Hey there, my name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and we got a, another Memorial Day cook. This is a uh, special request from a, a Terry Henderson to do some uh, Malcolm Reed ribs. Now she did give me a, a sauce recipe to try, but I'm going to uh, play around with a couple things and uh, see what I come up with. Now look, uh, this time of year, what's happening now in the country, meat is kind of uh, scarce. So I wasn't able to get St. Louis ribs. I could only come up with baby back ribs. It seems to me like most of uh, Mr. Reed's recipes are uh, a nice a thick cut of a St. Louis style rib. But like I said, I couldn't get them, but we have to do with what we can get. So uh, let's show you what I'm working with here. Look, here's what we're gonna do with these ribs. As you can see, they're not the most immediate ribs, but uh, we definitely want to clean them up a little bit. And the first thing we want to do for these ribs is uh, get this membrane off, right? Now, I do find for some reason on the uh, St. Louis style rib that the membrane does come off a little easier. So let's see what we got here. So basically, you just get a, a spoon or a butter knife and just kind of work under need that membrane, right? So this is gonna come off in pieces, no big deal. And look, if any of my viewers uh, wanna see something cooked, obviously just uh, ask and I'll, uh, I'll do the best I can do. Anytime somebody requests something from uh, Mr. Reed, uh, look, I'll jump at that opportunity, right? All right, so that's not bad. These came off pretty good now. And I think we're pretty good. Let me just take this off here. So look, what we got is some uh, Killer Hogs, the rub, of course. I tasted this stuff, uh, finger tasted it, and this is some mighty good stuff. So I'm really uh, looking forward to this. And I also got some uh, vinegar type sauce in the house uh, working a uh, I couldn't get the Malcolm Reed stuff, but I'm gonna make up uh, something that's a pretty similar. And I'm also gonna run the pit at 250 with some uh, cherry and some hickory. But for what we wanna do here, let's get a healthy, decent of this rub on there. Now what I'm gonna do here is uh, after I get the rub on, I'm gonna tend to my uh, pit and let these uh, sit for about 10, 15 minutes and kind of draw some of that moisture out. That moisture is gonna work as your binder. I find myself, myself as of late using less binder and just using the, uh, using the moisture and the meat to uh, well, my advantage, right? And you'll see the moisture when that moisture will will actually pull out and almost make the uh, rub kind of disappear or where it looks like it disappeared. That's just the uh, rub uh, really working into the meat. And uh, look, that's basically what you want, right? You can even, uh, if you let them sit for uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever, you can even apply a, another a dusting of rub. Um, a lot of times I like to do is build flavors, right? So I'll do a uh, salt, pepper, and garlic base, then I'll do some rub and, uh, you know, work it from there. But, uh, you know, I kind of just want to let the uh, killer hogs kind of do its thing, right? And also we got uh, some of killer hogs of barbecue sauce that will... Uh, We'll finish the uh, ribs up with a uh, type of a glaze with that. Uh, so look, stay tuned. Let me tend to the uh, grill and uh, we'll see the uh, middle shelf in. So look, what I'm gonna do here is get this middle shelf in because we want to run our ribs up on this middle rack at all times if we can. All right, everybody, here we go, right? When you place your uh, ribs in the uh, pit, you want a nice straight rack and you want to what? Uh, kind of push the meat together, right? You don't want the uh, ribs to be kind of angled and turned. You want them nice and straight. And now look, this is our uh, vinegar sauce that's gonna uh, balance out the uh, sweetness. And this is a uh, about a half a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar. 
I'm gonna do a little bit more than a, a quarter cup of brown sugar. A couple of tablespoons of a white sugar. A couple of splashes of a smoky a paprika. Some red pepper flakes. And of course, a little of garlic powder. And look, we're gonna get some uh, fresh cracked black pepper in and also some kosher salt. Now look, what this is gonna do is this is gonna balance out the uh, sweetness in the, uh, in the uh, sauces. You'll see as I uh, move along in this uh, recipe uh, how I'm gonna apply this uh, vinegar. And now you see my pit running at 250 Fahrenheit. I got some uh, cherry and uh, hickory in, and we are at the hour checkpoint. So what you want to do is just, uh, we'll just kind of look at those ribs, right? You want to make sure there's no hot spots. You want to make sure that the uh, that your rub is setting up nicely. And if you see the moisture drawn out of the uh, ribs, like I do, I'm gonna hit it with a little spritz. Now look, I'm going with a, a basic water spritz, as uh, Mr. Uh, Reed did on a, a few uh, videos that I had watched. And I'm basically looking at a spritz on the hour, right? So two spritzes and on the third hour, I'll take them out and wrap them up. And here we are at the second hour. And you see a little pull back on that upper bone right there. Yeah, right there. We are looking pretty good. We're getting a nice color. The rub is set up really, really nice. And we'll hit it with another little uh, couple spritzes of water. getting ready what I'm gonna do now is get the uh, foil out and you see I got two sheets a, a big on the bottom and a small on the top you'll see why a little bit later but we're gonna go with some uh, margarine right a couple of strips of uh, margarine and now look I'm gonna use some of that killer hogs rub and that stuff is uh, tasting good so why not And from there, what I'm going to do is get some brown sugar down. And so what we got there, we got a lot of sweetness, right? With that, uh, with that margarine and that brown sugar. So what we're going to do is we're going to balance it out with that of vinegar. And look, the vinegar does have a little sweetness to it, but it also has a uh, some tartness. So it's a, uh, I'm real excited to uh, give this a, a try. Now, usually I put honey down, and this uh, vinegar seems to be uh, like a, a pretty good idea. And you see it's a uh, kind of pasty, right? That's from cooking it down, cooking it in half. Alrighty, so look, it's time to get those ribs off. So remember, three hours, 250 Fahrenheit. Then we'll get those off and we'll get them wrapped up probably for about an hour. This is a, a small rack, a, a big rack of a St. Louis. You may be doing about an hour and a half to two hours. And again, what you want to do here is you want to go meat side and down. See the uh, moisture in the ribs. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm not gonna put anything on the uh, bone side. We got enough flavor on that uh, meat side that I'm just gonna wrap these up. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna go kinda tight, but you wanna be careful that you don't puncture the uh, foil. So you'll uh, fold it in like that. And then you'll uh, finish it up over like that. And you're gonna place those in the uh, pit just like that. So you don't get a uh, saucy uh, mess leak inside the uh, pit, right? Alrighty, so look, we're basically gonna do the uh, second rack in the exact same way with some uh, couple strips of margarine down. And we're gonna get that uh, brown sugar. We're gonna get some of that uh, killer hogs rub down and also some of that vinegar. And then we're gonna what, wrap them up. And it's just like that. Oh, yeah. oh man. Now the uh, same way we'll get our uh, ribs and meat side down. We are good to go. There you go. Got a nice pull back. Got a nice bend. Got a nice color. Drop those right in. Oh man. The same thing, right? You want to uh, tilt it in. Just be careful you don't puncture the uh, foil. Again, I am going with the two sheets, a, a bigger sheet on the uh, bottom, and you'll see why in a, uh, well, about a minute or two. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get these uh, back on the uh, pit. Now, one of the uh, ribs were a little bit more tender, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those uh, up top, where it may be a little cooler up there. And we're gonna cook these for about another hour. and just like that all right so a couple ways to a test right if you got a nice bend like that you know the ribs are tender and are probably done but what we'll do is we'll get those uh we'll get them out of the foil and we'll uh, put a glaze on them right Basically what we want to do here is we got that uh, that littler piece of foil that the ribs are sitting in. We're going to use that to collect that moisture, right? So just kind of move the uh, ribs out of the way and just kind of fold up that first sheet into like a little canoe and there's all your moisture. back I mean we got a nice color that is a, a good looking rack of ribs and what we're gonna do is we're gonna glaze that up some of that uh, killer hogs and BBQ sauce looking to get this back on the pit for about 15 minutes you see I'm gonna make like a, a little boat right there to keep the uh, ribs on and like I said these ribs are so tender about another 15 minutes just to kind of set that uh, 
Just kind of set that sauce a little bit, right? Sticky up that sauce and uh, we are good to go. Alrighty, 15 minutes and we are all done. And look, we had a total cooking time of four hours and 15 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And we are looking good. Right, we got a nice pull back. The uh, ribs are, uh, got a nice glaze on those ribs. And we'll get these on the uh, board and let them sit for about 10 minutes or so. And then we will uh, give a taste. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, those are a gorgeous, gorgeous color. These racks may be small, but I guarantee you they're packing some flavor. Okay, so look what we're going to do here is we're going to get a live taste test. So we're going to take it one, two, on three. in. All right, look, that's it for this one. First off, I want to thank Terry Henderson for the uh, for the request for these uh, killer hogs, uh, Mr. Malcolm Reed ribs. I really appreciate it. Uh, these things came out awesome. Uh, this is a definite must make. I mean, I know I say that on all my videos, but these are one of the best ribs I've ever made in my life, period. Okay, I've never made anything from uh, Malcolm Reed, and I'll tell you what, I'm gonna dig in and see what else he's got going on. I mean, I know the guy's a uh, master uh, pit master, a, uh, you know, a total chef. Uh, so I definitely want to take a look and see what else. So look, I already sent uh, one a rack off to my mother-in-law, right? So this is what I got here. Um, so let's say, uh, cut this open and take a look. I mean, I knew these ribs were, uh, you know, not the meatiest ribs, but like I said, you got to uh, take what I can get my hands on in this, uh, I'm gonna read, right? Got a little bit of a smoke ring. That's coming in clear. And look, I'm gonna take an on-screen uh, taste test, and uh, here we go. Mm. Not a bad rip. Oh, I mean, this uh, this killer hogs uh, rub and sauce uh, is definitely the real deal, as uh, most of you out there probably know, right? I'm the uh, last one to the party. You know, you got that, um, that rub comes through nice and you got that, um, definitely can taste hints of that vinegar, uh, the sweetness of the uh, sugars uh, with that rub and the uh, little tartiness of that vinegar, right? It all just comes together, a little spice uh, that I put in that vinegar. You also get a, just a little bit of a bite, but uh, it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. I use the uh, vinegar instead of the honey. Uh, so just make note of that, and uh, and that's it. Look, this was a great cook. I want to thank Terry again. If any of my viewers, you know, if any of my viewers have a, a request, I'll do the best I can do. Uh, just to let me know, right? So look, check out my uh, Master Built Gravity Facebook group. I'll leave a uh, links down below to that. 
All right, guys, look, so that's it for this one. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, like the video, share the video, and until next week, ciao.